In this video, I'll walk you through how to create and install a Facebook pixel on your website in a couple of easy steps. Now, according to Facebook, this is a piece of code that lets you measure, optimize, and build audiences for your advertising campaigns. So with that said, let's get into it. Getting started, I'll presume you've already created a business manager because I doubt you'll be searching for this topic just yet if you haven't. Secondly, be sure to have already verified your website domain on the business manager because that's essential to creating the Facebook pixel. I'll be leaving a link in the description on how to sort that out in just three minutes. And then you can just come back afterwards to continue the setup. Okay, if you've already verified your domain on the business manager, input the URL business.facebook.com into your search field. And that should bring us to this page. Next, we want to click on all tools and under advertise, let's select events manager. And that should automatically open up a new tab, bringing us to this page. On this page, it's important to know where you are creating the Facebook pixel on. Since in most cases, we fail to look at this section, get a number of things done, and begin to wonder why it's not reflecting on the ads campaign. What I'm trying to say is, always make sure to change this to the right location before making any changes. Now, we want to hover over this section, and right here where we have connect data sources, just click on that, and it should prompt this pop-up where we need to select a data source. That is where the data is to be collected from. In this case, it will be a website, select that and then connect. Now just a quick disclaimer before we move forward, this interface may differ slightly depending on your business manager since this company is always changing every now and then. I believe the business manager I'm using for this demonstration is of the most recent update. Just so you know, in case I click on a button and the next prompt looks different at your end, you just need to follow the steps accordingly because it's just asking for information you already know. And ultimately, we should arrive at the same place, which will be the manual or partner integration for the pixel installation on our website. Now, we'll be asked to title our pixel, so I'm just going to title this Mods Pixel. In your case, you might have the pixel name and the website URL field on this prompt, other than it being on the next. Well, if this looks slightly different, you can just follow the prompt like I mentioned. Now, let's click on Create Pixel. Next, we want to paste the URL of the site we wish to pixel into this field, just so Facebook can run a quick check to see if your site is eligible for the website's partner integration. So I'm just going to head back to my website, copy the URL, and then paste that into this field. Once that is done, select check, and then select next. For the next prompt, we'll be asked to select a connection method. Now, this is totally dependent on what you want. If you want both conversion API and pixel, you can just go with this. In this video, we will be going with just the Facebook pixel. And once that is selected, just click on next. Now, let's move on to the next step, which will be installing the pixel on our website. We can see we have two options on here, installing the pixel manually or using a partner integration. I've happened to try them both and I can say the partner integration seems to be much more seamless since you just have to click buttons to get the pixel installed. But recently I found myself using the manual setup because I can be more specific to where I want to install this, be it on the entire website or if you're like me that run custom conversion campaigns for the most part, you might want to consider installing the pixel to your thank you page instead of the entire website. So in this video, we'll be going with install code manually. Now, all you need to do is copy the code and paste it into the header section of your website. I've got my website installed on WordPress and we'll be needing a plugin to enable us to insert the code on our website. So I just need to head back to my website backend and want to install the plugin Insert Header and Footer by WP Beginner. So I'm just going to hover over plugins and select Add New. Head over to the search field and then type in insert headers and footers. Once this comes up, install and activate. I've already got this installed and activated on my website. All right, once we've got that installed, just hover over settings and then select the plugin settings we just installed. Now let's head back to the events manager and then copy the code. You can simply do that by left clicking this button and then head back to paste the code into the header section. Now, if you remember in the previous video, we talked about domain verification on the business manager. So if you have the meta tag sitting here, there is certainly no need removing or tempering with it. What you want to do will be leaving an empty line underneath this and then paste the pixel code we just copied. 
There's actually something smart the team on Facebook did where you can be able to tell where the pixel code starts and where it ends. We can tell the code starts here and then ends here. So we could apply the same here for the meta tag. This is just to be able to tell codes apart in case you might need to add more over time. So I'm just going to copy this first line and then paste that directly on top of this code and then title this domain verification instead. All right, once that is settled, just scroll down and save this. Now that we've got our settings saved, let's head back to the events manager and then select continue. For the next section, we want to make sure to turn on automatic advanced matching. And the reason for turning this on is well explained here. And in summary, this helps improve your overall campaign performance. So I'm just gonna to toggle this on while making sure all of these are as well. And then continue. This option isn't particularly necessary unless you have a specific need for it. So let's skip this. And since we've got the domain verified, just select continue. So that sums it up for the creation and installation process. Now let's move on to testing if this has actually been set up properly. We could use the tool on the business manager as well as installing the Facebook Pixel Helper extension. So let's click on Pixel Overview. And from here, we want to select Test Event. And I just need to insert any link on my website into this field and then select Open Site. But just before we head back to the events manager, let's first install the Chrome extension. So I'll just open up a new tab, search for Facebook Pixel Helper. And the first link that comes up is what we want to click on. Next, we want to select Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. Once the extension is added, head on to the puzzle icon, select that to open up the installed extension and then pin the pixel helper to appear on the extension panel. Now let's head back to this tab and if I refresh this, we should be able to see a number on that extension. So if I click on it, we should see our pixel ID and we can just check back to see if this tallies with what we have here. Also, we should be seeing process down here for the website link we just inserted. With that, you should know all is set and now you can move on to other tags, be it creating a custom conversion or setting up your account to run an ad campaign. If you would like to know how to get pixel code installed on single pages on your website and the best place to do so if you create custom conversions like I do, you can just tune in by subscribing to the channel and that should be up next. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit the like button to help this video reach out to more persons. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.